my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Mina and for today's video we'll be doing this gorgeous makeup look for your first date. This is very, very easy look to get and also simple and not too heavy, not too light. So if you want to impress your man, then keep on watching, try this look and let me know how it all goes. Go ahead and put our moisturizer. So for the moisturizer, I am using my L'Oreal For the primer, I will be using the Wet n Wild Primer Serum and this is the hydrating one. I've been actually loving this one. Um, it really does settle in your foundation really good. done with your primer I will be using my bare mineral foundation and with my cute little sponge Now we will go ahead and set our foundation with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. And using this brush, we'll go ahead and apply just a little bit around the areas that you usually get too oily. Now I will be putting my eyebrow uh, thickener which is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. I usually go with two or three coats. Um, once it dries just to make it a little bit extra thicker. I will go ahead and wipe the translucent powder using this e.l.f. Uh, flawless face brush and let's go ahead and just wipe it off a little. A little bit of my powder on top of that and I'm gonna use the face powder and brush that I used earlier for my translucent powder. Just put it around here. With my eyebrow thickening with my cover girl. And once again, just a little bit. And now we'll go ahead and move to the eyeshadow. We want to do something um, not too heavy, not too light, but like in the medium area, just so you can impress him very well with your eyes. <laughs> this brush, we're going with this color. Use this brush with this color right here. 
We'll use that next. Under eyeshadow, we'll go use the same colors that we used on top. And now, using this brush, we'll go ahead and use this color. But we want to use it lightly. that we usually use and we'll just go with this glitter right here and it's kind of like silver pinkish The liquid liner I will be using the Revlon. I'm not going to do too much. I'm just going to line. I'm not going to really put anything under my eyes or mascara, but you can go ahead and do so if you want to. But now I'm going to go ahead and just apply my lashes, which is the Ardo 113 Black, and I'll be right back. Okay, well I did do my eyebrows and my lashes. I did a little bit of my contour off camera because I do have another video which I made a full video of my face of how I do my eyebrows, what I use on my eyebrows and my contouring. But I did just do my nose contouring. Let's go ahead and continue. And I usually don't do the cream. I only use uh, the powder one because I just feel like cream is just too much, you know? Give me one second. I do have this blush and I forgot where it was from. Let me see if it's... It doesn't have the name on here, but this is a blush palette I also have, but as, uh, I think it's from Makeup Studio or something like that, but I lost the top because it broke, so then I threw it in trash. Let's go ahead and do our blush. Uh, I'll go ahead and use this little bit of like the pink, and it has a like gold shimmery um, peach color. And let's go ahead and also highlight. I'll be using my Tarte contouring and highlighting palette, Real Techniques, and let's apply some highlight. Now for my lipstick, go in with Wet n Wild. Uh, this one is in Rebel Rose. And yeah, this kind of gives you a matte finish look. We are done. Go ahead and fix 
my hair now. Ta-da! We are done with our look. And I actually love how it turned out because it's been a long time I haven't done cut crease eyeshadow. But it turned out really good. So, yeah, hopefully you guys can see. And I did just do a loose curl. And that's actually one more thing to finish off this look. We have to use our Gucci Guilty perfume. And so this is the final look. Go out, girl. Have fun. And comment down below how did it go. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.